everyone, this is Tasneem Hasanmuna. I'm enrolled in a PhD program in Molecular and Cellular Life Science in University of Wyoming, USA. I have completed my bachelor's in biochemistry and biotechnology from North South University. Uh, my PhD program is completely funded. I have a complete tuition waiver. I am a full-time graduate assistant, which means uh, I have an annual stipend of $24,000. My application procedure was pretty general as for other universities. I applied through the university website and after sending all my academic documents and uh, other certificates, I was selected for a Skype interview and for the interview we were sent a paper and during the interview I was asked to analyze the paper and I guess my academic records coupled with my performance in the Skype is what got me into this program. So the, here is how my program works. I have not yet selected what my dissertation topic is going to be. During our first year, we get to rotate in four labs according to our choice and each rotation lasts for around two months. After the end of the fourth rotation, we finally get to choose which lab we want to work in and we get to choose our topic. Right now, I am doing my second rotation and I am working to understand the secretory protein and the secretory pathway that is taken by a receptor protein of Mixococcus anthus. I, I have two more rotations left. After that, I'm going to decide what my dissertation topic is going to be. And apart from the rotation, we are also required to do some coursework. We do courses pretty similar to you. I do biochemistry, genetics, molecular biology, and stuff like that. And the courses are required for two years. After two years, it's basically research only. So here are a couple of tips I would like to leave fourth or uh, third or fourth year students who are really determined uh, about studying abroad. And starting with, uh, to start with, I would say that please maintain a CGPA. Yeah, it's not essential to maintain a 4 on 4 or 3.9 out of 4, but I feel like uh, maintaining 3.5 for a serious student shouldn't hurt that much because all the people here are good, trust me. And you have to survive among all the good people. So having good grades or, or a standard CGPA really gives you some advantage. Next comes the question of GRE. If you're applying for USA, GRE is a must. And I'm not going to lie, GRE does take a lot of time. It is a stressful exam and not scaring you. It's just the truth. So it's really important that you save four or five months. I saved four months. It depends on people's. But Four or five months are generally, generally required where you can invest quality time for preparing for your GRE, where you're really committed in doing well in your GRE. And about the score, what I see, people in my university have pretty amazing scores, way more than me. I had a score of 313. So I feel like having a score of around 313 10 puts you in a quite safe position. You will be required to take TOEFL or IELTS depending on which country you're applying in. I, I took the TOEFL and in both the tests you are required to have good English speaking skills or writing skills. And having said that, uh, having good communication skills are extremely important. If you're going in an English speaking country, they really expect you to be able to express yourself clearly, loudly in, in front of an audience. So believe me, having a good presentation skill really helps. So you are having a lot of presentation during your last years. Please take advantage of them. Make the habit of talking to people. 
your SOP, very important statement of purpose. This might have other names in different universities. This is basically a letter where you tell them why you choose that program, why you choose that university, if there is any specific professor you want to work with. So please work on that. Do your homework before writing that letter because that, that letter is the first place where they get to know you apart from your academic records. This is the point where you get to make your first impression. You get to tell them why you're unique, how they will benefit themselves by taking you and you really want that letter to be neat and written in good English and you want to do your homework so do not start it a month or two before applying because at that time you will be really overwhelmed with a lot of things other than writing an SOP so start ahead plan ahead read the samples in Google there are tons of them make and make your make your story and the thing that I'm feeling most here is it's really essential to build a habit of reading papers. If you're going in, uh, in a subject that is relevant to mine, like life science or any other science subjects, it's really important to read the papers. You have very good journals online, you have access to many good papers, read them understand the language, understand the techniques that are being used, very important. I spend all my time trying to understand the figures, the data. Understanding graphical data is equivalent to performing an art. It's very important. So please go through the techniques. You might not have the practical skills because you were not doing the experiments, but it really gives you an advantage when you come here with the theoretical background and once you have the theoretical knowledge it's very easy to jump into the practical stuff. Um, last of all, please pay attention to your classes, the classes that you are doing now. Uh, do not rely on slides only, please go back to your textbooks because it it won't harm you to know a bit more than that is required for your exams. Uh, because trust me, if you are skipping a topic just for the sake of getting away with that course, this lack of knowledge is going to haunt you during your graduate school and you don't want yourself to be in that position. So please pay attention to your classes. What you learn here is what we learn here is not very difficult than what you do there. So do not come with a blank mind. <laughs> I hope my talk helped you and I wish all of you the very best for your future. I hope all of you achieve your dreams and thank you Career Solutions Bangladesh for having me.